Yeah. So I got an unexpected visitor the other day knocking at my door. Guess who it was? Debbie Delaney. For those who don't know Debbie, it's her. We grown up in the same estate together. We went to the same school. Snogged the same boys. She used to knock about with all my sisters. I know her family. She knows mine. That kind of relationship. Fall like cat and dog. Usually make up dead quick, but not this time. Let me tell you, when I married Barry, that's when it got complicated. They hated each other. I mean, everything was all right at first, but then things just got worse. Always bickering, always sniping, fighting for my attention. They were just getting dead spiteful with each other. Whenever I butted in, it just triggered things with me and Debbie. She'd say that I took his side and I never. It's not true at all. She started it most of the time anyway. But then I heard that she was slagging me off to all our mates. And I thought, I'm going to let it go because I know how you are. She's right like a two-faced cow sometimes. Anyway, one night in the pub, me and Barry had, had a few drinks and Debbie comes walking in, doesn't she? Well, I say walking, she couldn't even fucking stand up. She came swaying in, going on with herself and I could tell by the look in her face she was gunning for a fight. I could see something was going to happen. Thing is with her, you just know, you know, you know. So anyway, after a few psycho remarks, she starts shouting at her, Barry. And she takes a swing at him, misses and knocks a full bottle of wine wine over a full bottle my wine i saw red that was it i went for her we were there slapping each other punching each other grabbing each other by the air we rolled over the tables people just couldn't get us off each other it wasn't my finest moment but when i've gone i've fucking gone one thing i will say about her she can give as good as she gets still beat her though well she said she beat me, but she didn't. Anyway, I ripped her blouse and her boobs were all hanging out, weren't they? My hair was all over the place. Her hair was all over the place. And we ended up getting barred from the pub for ages. But we're allowed it now. After that, we didn't speak for ages. It's the longest time I've never spoken to her. But it's a shame. We ran in the same circles. After a while, you know, you give each other the nod. We've got the same mates, so, you know, civil, grown up. The usual bullshit. So she's at my door and I thought, here we fucking go. I went, hello. She went, hiya. I heard about you and Barry. I went, oh, come over to glow, have you? She went, no. What do you want me? She went, I've come over to say I'm sorry. It's like you are. She said, I'm sorry. I said, what for? She said, I'm sorry to hear about you and Barry. Said, Don't give me that shit, you ain't you, Jim? She went, no. I know he was a dick to you. I tried to tell you many a times, but you wouldn't listen. Which is true. I didn't like a delivery. She went, I really miss you and I really want a chance to be a friend again. I don't know what's got into her. I was ready for another call. I thought me. She completely caught me off guard. I thought it was a prank. So I went, are you joking? She went, no, I really mean it. To be honest with you, I'm an hard face cow, but I know a good apology when I see one. So I thought, better say it myself, aren't I? I said, look, Debbie, what happened between you and me was daft. And it was a long time ago. I'm sorry and all. I hate saying sorry. But you've got to be in the moment, haven't you? But then I thought, she's going to fucking ask me for money in a minute. But she didn't. So anyway, she apologised, I apologised, and I swear to God, there was a bit of relief there. Well, I know that I can be as stubborn as an ox, and so can she. Well, like sisters like that, when you get two of the same, well, it's just fucking fireworks, in it. And to be honest, when we're together, we have a right laugh. Scream, we bet piss together, and honest to God, we ruled the roost. So we both decided to put our differences to bed. I was only talking to her for five minutes and she's criticising me curtains. Some people just never change, but it's not the worst of my problem. I never mentioned the fact that she's still got the same black jumper on that she always has, and I preferred her as a brunette, not a blonde. She's even got roots like mine. Stop copying me. Get your own style. There's only one Brenda. So we're friends now. Because we're grown-ups, we put bygones to bygones. As soon as we're allowed, we're going to get absolutely wanked together. Just like us girls usually do. We'll just see how long it lasts.